Welcome, everyone, to another edition of The Score. Wiley Baker with you here. As a reminder, The Score is a sports show here on AACPS-TV and the Anne Arundel County YouTube channel, where our Athletes in Action show focuses on a specific team at an Anne Arundel County public school. The Score zeroes in on an important individual in the life of Anne Arundel County public schools athletics, and today we certainly have one such individual. I would like to introduce to you athletic administrator and assistant principal of the Chesapeake High School Cougars, Mr. Kevin Carr. Kevin, thank you so much for taking the time. Appreciate it, Wiley. Thanks for having me here. Well, we've known each other for a while. You've done some great things for Anne Arundel County Public Schools. And I guess everybody kind of wants to know a little bit about Kevin Carr. Uh, what high school did you go to? Uh, what college? Uh, where are you from? Sure. So I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Moved to Anne Arundel County when I was 12 years old. Graduated from South River High School in 2002. Went to Frostburg State University for two years. Transferred. To Salisbury, graduated with my undergrad and graduate degree from Salisbury University on the Eastern Shore. So uh, moving from Philadelphia to local, and we're glad to have you here, by the way. <laughs> Hope you stay for a long, long time. Appreciate so, that. Um, did you ever play sports in school? Were you a student athlete? So I was a student athlete at South River. I dabbled in cross country and indoor track in the <laughs> fall and winter seasons, but I was primarily a lacrosse player. Played all four years at South River. Played club lacrosse at Frostburg when I graduated. What position did you play? Uh, I was a midfielder and attackman. All right. Yeah. Fast guy. Yeah. <laughs> now, what got you interested in going from playing uh, to did you coach? And then from coaching, did you go to, uh, well, obviously you went to an administrator. What? Talk about that transition. So I started uh, my teaching career with Anne Arundel County Public Schools at Annapolis Middle School okay. as an eighth grade social studies teacher. And then I transitioned to Old Mill High School as a social studies teacher, and that's where I joined the lacrosse staff and eventually became the head lacrosse coach and head golf coach at Old Mill High School. Mm -hmm. um, and then I made my way into the administrative world and uh, have been an assistant principal for the past three years, two years at Old Mill High School, one year at Chesapeake High School. And I've been fortunate to be involved with athletics at both schools and in the same capacity. What got you interested in going into administration? So it, administration has uh, kind of always been there as kind of like a, a goal of mine once I got into education because of the ability to work with both students, families, and teachers okay. uh, in growing the school community in a positive direction. Um, and administration is, is enjoyable because you get to work with all the different stakeholders and constituencies. Well, now we're going to get deep. You have started something incredible for Anne Arundel County Public Schools. Uh, talk about the great class that you started, uh, as you mentioned, at Old Mill mm -hmm. High School, and now you have brought that to the Dina at Chesapeake High School. So I can't, I can't take a whole lot of credit for it because <laughs> I've been very fortunate to work with a, a great group of people in various schools that I've been employed in. Um, so I was very blessed to work at Arundel High School with Coach Necessary and Miss Hopkins and Coach Doy, okay. where they started the Athletic Leadership Council, and they asked me to be a part of it and support that group. And so when I left Arundel and became an assistant principal at Old Mill High School, uh, Ms. Smith and Coach Martin and Coach Arnold were uh, very supportive in starting an athletic leadership council at Old Mill High School, which I was involved in for two years. And now that I'm at Chesapeake High School, Mr. Yore and uh, Coach Schneider and Coach Collins have done a phenomenal job of getting the athletic leadership council off the ground at Chesapeake High School as well. So it, it's been a a very important part of my professional career. It's also the most enjoyable part um, <laughs> of my week, um, getting to spend time with our, our finest student athletes at a variety of schools in the county has truly been a treasure for me. I'm here with Kevin Carr. He is the assistant principal at Chesapeake High School as well as athletic administrator and teacher of the ALC. Can you elaborate a little bit more? And I am blessed that you've asked me to be a part of the ALC. Can you elaborate a little bit more about that class and what it's all about? Sure. The Athletic Leadership Council is a group of student athletes, varsity student athletes, who get nominated by their coaches and selected by a committee. Um, there's three tenets of the program. It is leadership development, community service, and character education. Um, and our goal is to develop leadership within our sports programs by working with a specific subset of student athletes who have either displayed leadership potential or coaches see leadership potential in them. Okay. Um, and so we meet with them weekly. Uh, we go through scenarios, real world scenarios, athletic scenarios, um, and we 
do a little bit of reading, a little bit of community service, a little bit of uh, team building so that they are better prepared when they go back to their programs to support them in whatever leadership roles they're in. And you've had, as I mentioned, Bob Hoke, formerly of the Capital Gazette newspaper. He has been a wonder for this community and, and yours truly is a part of that. And, mm -hmm. and talk a little bit about uh, what we did. I mean, sure. I could obviously yeah. elaborate on that, but I'm going to have you do that since you're the, the teacher of the class. Uh, to tell everybody what we actually did with the student athletes. Absolutely. So the, the student athletes who tend to be in the Athletic Leadership Council are some of our higher performers on, the, on and off the field. Um, and so they tend to be interviewed after games, um, <laughs> after competitions, for season previews, season wrap-ups, and we want to make sure that they're fully prepared um, to do a, a good job with their interviews. So one of the things that we do is we try to bring in local media who covers high school sports to do mock interviews with them, um, and we prepare them ahead of time. We allow them to receive some feedback from local media so that they can improve their practice moving forward. We take field trips to local universities from a student athlete perspective. Um, I know Chesapeake, we have one coming up to visit Johns Hopkins University, meet with some of the student athlete leaders that they have there, some of the coaches that they have there to talk about leadership development. Um, so we generally try to provide a, a well-rounded experience for them in the Athletic Leadership Council. And we've had some, uh, this year was the first year that we had a countywide ALC kickoff at Arlington Echo on oh. August 30th. So. Mm -hmm. Um, kudos to uh, Mr. Culp and the Office of Athletics for supporting the growth of Athletic Leadership Council across the county because it truly is a wonderful program for our student athletes. I was there. That was a great day yeah. for sure. Well, let's go back to the administrative part of your job. Usually the only time a student sees an administrator is kind of when they're in that difficult situation, mm -hmm. should we say. They're in difficulty. Uh, what do you say or, or what do you do uh, with the students or student athletes that uh, you know to, to say that you're accessible to them mm -hmm. as a leader? Obviously, you're a sports guy, so they know you've been a student athlete yourself. Does that help? It certainly does. So as an administrator, we wear a lot of different hats. Uh, we're responsible for many different facets um, of the school, obviously under the direction of a principal. Um, so we're not just disciplinarians. Uh, we, we serve as pseudo counselors and all of us come from teaching backgrounds, some of us come from coaching backgrounds. So it, uh, our job as administrators is to build positive relationships with all students, not just student athletes. Um, and so a part of that relationship is getting to know the student or the student athlete um, and being able to have conversations with them about what's going on in their life so that we can offer support, guidance, advice, whatever it is, mentorship, um, so that you know, as they progress through high school and they have difficulty, we can be in their corner and support them in growing them. And the Dean, of course, one of those unique areas at Anne Arundel County, I'm sure yeah. you well know, even in your short stay thus far at Chesapeake, uh, and even in the state of Maryland, one of those unique areas. Talk about the connectiveness, the tightness, the, the family relationships of, of the student athletes and the community and the fans uh, down at Chesapeake High School. Absolutely. Chesapeake is, is an amazing community. It truly is. It's a true community high school. And uh, all the stakeholders involved in the school and also in athletics are dedicated to those student athletes and to the community as a whole. Um, you, you see the record boards in the hallways that Coach Snyder has done a phenomenal job with. And you see that it's you know the current kids that are battling for their spots on the record boards, their parents are on the record boards, and their coaches are on the record boards. And it's it's truly just incredible and inspiring to see a community really rally around Chesapeake High School and specifically their athletic program that they take such great pride in and they support one another. We had the county um, or the regional duels the other night for wrestling and an amazing student student turnout in the student section. And it was we had coaches from other programs that came out to support like yourself and others. <laughs> um, and that truly was reflective of, of the pride that Pasadena takes in Chesapeake High School, and, and Chesapeake High School is, is very fortunate to have the support of all those stakeholders in the community. And I'm going to combine Chesapeake and, and what you mentioned with the community and, and back to Old Mill again mm -hmm. as well. Talk a little bit about the Craig White Sportsmanship Board. I know that is a big, big part of developing the student athletes in the community. So I was a, uh, the head lacrosse coach at Old Mill High School, and I I served under Craig White when he was the athletic director. And so when the Office of Athletics created um, the Craig White Sportsmanship and Service, it really aligned to what the Athletic Leadership Council looks to do. We look to promote community service. We look to promote sportsmanship through leadership. 
And so I, I have been thrilled by all of the teams that have been recognized at the various schools that I've been a part of. And I think it's just an amazing program um, that the county has put on for the schools to follow through with in terms of sportsmanship and service. And, and I'm looking forward to seeing the nominees that Chesapeake High School will be evaluating to see who will be recognized with that, that tremendous honor because Craig White was an outstanding athletic director and human being. And anything that we can do to support his legacy, I'm in favor of. Here with Kevin Carr, assistant principal of Chesapeake High School, also athletic administrator and coach, as we get to the point where we're going to wrap up in about three to four minutes, uh, what final words of wisdom do you give to the student athletes more specifically, especially those in their senior year, getting ready to go out into the real world and uh, become a collegiate athlete? So I give kind of two pieces of advice that I try to harp on with Athletic Leadership Council. One is to experience as much as you can, right? So put yourself out there, make sure that you're living in the moment, make sure that if there's a workout, you don't miss it. If there's a practice you're staying after, make sure you enjoy the process because college athletics becomes a little bit more time consuming and a little bit more of a job. And you wanna make sure that that's why you're in it. That's why you play the sport is for the process, not just for the game time or the playing time or the public recognition, but to enjoy the process, to live in the moment. The other piece of advice that I tend to focus on with my LC seniors is to step out of their comfort zone okay. and to be more of a risk taker. Um, that means maybe not just focusing on one sport, but trying out for a sport you've never been a part of, joining a friend group that you've never socialized with, sitting with someone you've never had a conversation with, but putting yourself in uncomfortable situations because that's generally where, as people, we experience the most growth. Right, so Absolutely. being uncomfortable, but also living in the moment, enjoying the process, I think is, are two keys that will set up our student athletes for success at the next level, but more importantly, beyond the next level, right? Because high school okay. athletics is about preparing them for life and the life lessons that they learn through sport. Um, yep. So my pieces of advice are applicable to athletics, but they're also for beyond their playing time because eventually we all have to stop playing, right? <laughs> For sure. And what words of wisdom, as we wrap up, what words of wisdom can you give coaches, parents, fans, uh, about being just that good citizen, that good fan, that good representative of Chesapeake High School or whatever high school in Anne Arundel County um, at the sporting events and even outside of sporting events as well? So I, I think the best advice that you give any stakeholder who maybe are not directly on the playing field is just to remember that what we're trying to attempt to teach kids through athletics is respect. And we need to mirror that when we're not participating in athletics as much as they, the student athletes need to demonstrate that while they're playing. So respecting the officials, respecting the game, respecting the opponent, respecting the process and, and recognizing that a lot of people put a lot of time, energy and effort into preparing student athletes to be ready to compete. So it's not just the opposing team coaches that you have an issue with, but it's you know respecting all coaches, all officials, all fans, all student athletes, and just recognizing that they should be congratulated for the effort that they made to move forward in whatever sport they participate in. Well, you should be congratulated for the great effort you have made with the Athletic Leadership Council, and uh, I know that it's going to continue to grow, and everybody's excited about it. Thank you very so, much. So looking much, forward Kevin, to it. Thank you, for, uh, I appreciate it. Today, and and keep up the great work, please. Thank you. Appreciate that. Again, from Chesapeake High School uh, with us today, Kevin Carr, assistant principal and athletic administrator and leader of the Athletic Leadership Council. We appreciate him being on the score today. As always, in honor and memory of my mom, Dee Baker, I'm Wiley Baker. I'll talk to you on the court, on the field, or on the air. And with another edition of The Score right here on Anne Arundel County Public Schools Television Network and YouTube channel.